Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome. Welcome to a special event. This is a live event where I'm going to demonstrate and show uh, three new products. I might mention one of them. I mean, a fourth, but uh, three brand new products available on our website now at flash sale prices. Uh, three of them are on flash sale prices. Now, the really exciting thing is um, I get to demo them also for you. Uh, usually, the when I come out with something that's really like special, special, I like to do a live event because I wanna show you the ins and the outs and how to do it and why it's cool and things like that. So I always save those items for these type of events. But before we begin, let's do a couple shout outs. Jeffrey, I haven't seen your name in a long time. Hello in New Hampshire. Uh, I saw him jump in and say hello. Hi, Layla in Florida and Stacy, hello. Hi, Amy and Debbie. Now, if you see Stephanie Bernard in the chat, that's actually Dina. Dina is here to answer your chat questions. So if she sees them, she'll be able to answer as well. Sometimes Kenny and I don't see them going through the chat, so she'll be able to answer as well too. Hi, Debbie in Utah, hello. Hi, Beatrice, good afternoon. Hi, Gloria, my friend in Wisconsin. Hi, Sandra D. Hi, Ruth in Michigan and Kathy in Texas. Hi, Michelle, hi, Debbie. Hi, Wanda in Virginia. Wanda, did you know that Kenny and I have an Aunt Wanda? She lives in Idaho, but um, hello, how are you, my love? Not in Virginia. Ha Not in Virginia, no, <laughs> no. She used to live in San Diego though, right, baby? Yep. Is your mic on? Yep. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, oh, I saw Long Beach in there. Oh, I saw Long Beach in there and I, I missed the name. Um, let's see. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hi, Janet. Good evening to you. Hi, Paula. Hello. Hi, Valerie and Allison and Wendy and Barbara and Terry. <laughs> Hi, Shirley. Hello. Going to work, she said. Hi, Teresa in Maryland. Uh, Robin, good evening to you. Hi, Lois. Hi, Deanna and Patricia and Lena. Is it Lena or Lana? Lena, Lana, I don't know. I'm horrible with names, you guys. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Charlene in Kentucky. Hi, Toby. Hello in Iowa. Hi, Melody, my love. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, I got to give you a little shout out about the, um, the play mat. Uh, my mom finally came over yesterday to really, and she really got to like look at it because she's seen it like off to the side a little bit because you know, when the tornadoes are here, also known as the twins, uh, it, you can't really focus on anything. So she finally, we finally got to lay it out for her and show her everything and she was just in awe. She was just like stunned. So it was fun to show that off. Um, hi Jane and Angie and Robin and Carol, hello. Hi Lady G J Crafty, hello. Hi Eleanor and Marcy. Um, now, if this is your first time um, here, please, please, please give us a shout out in the chat. Say, hey, first timer. Um, we'd love to see your name and give you a real shout out because that's really fun. Uh, Gloria wants me to remind everybody, please like and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. I actually, every Thursday we go live and I actually make a card. Tonight I'm gonna kind of make two cards. Um, I have them a little bit prepped so you don't see me die cutting all night. But um, yes, so please make sure you subscribe to our website, I'm sorry. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, Melody in Yuma, Yuma, Arizona. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Susan in Pennsylvania. Hi, Frida, hello. Uh, Amanda says, I liked and shared. Thank you, my love. Michelle, Michelle Dodd says she's a first timer. Welcome, hey. welcome, welcome, yay. We need the clapping. Don't you have a clapping thing? I do, but I barely got the show running tonight. I, so okay. the clapping and a couple there, of extra things are, didn't make it. Oh, but we're are here. You, are you You're having here. a rough evening? No, I'm having a oh, great okay. evening. You're it's okay just now. sometimes. Okay. Sometimes things but, just don't hey, always the mic's go. working and 100%. your video camera's working. Yes. And everybody's here, so that's good. That's awesome. Susan says, already ordered it all. Well, good. You get to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show then, right? Now, those of you um, that, oh, Patricia says, I'm a first timer. Looking forward to the sharing. Awesome. Yay. Patricia, welcome. Patricia Bruff. Bruffy Mohan, welcome my love, welcome, I'm excited. Hi Luba, hello. Hi Mandy, how am I doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good, I'm doing great, except my dog had to go to the vet today, which is never a good time, and uh, she's sleeping on the floor now, but she has two different, she has a skin infection, and the vet accused me of letting her lay in contaminated dirt. <laughs> First of all, there is no dirt around our house. Just because 
we live like in an area where we don't have a yard. So there's no dirt for her to be in. Um, we, well, have we just a, had our house clean last week, so that's it's not that too. bad around here. Yeah, <laughs> and and we have like we. She, he said, well, she's she's being contaminated by something. So she's on an antibiotic for the next. Get this, Kenny. I didn't tell you this part. Twenty days. What wow. fun! I know. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Uh, Kathy says, Ken, you are coming in loud and clear tonight. Ooh. That is good news. That <laughs> I is hope good not news. Too loud. <laughs> You're never too loud. Trust me. Trust me. Whoops, he never he, he never raises his voice. Uh, well, never. Never say never, but he does sometimes. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Already ordered, she said. Hi, Yvette. Hello. Hi, Janice. Liked and shared. Yay. Kathy says she's joining from Washington. Okay. So, you guys. Sarah said she ordered the pencils. I'm glad to hear that because the pencils are the most limited. Now, some of you might not be interested in the pencils and that's great. If you're not, you don't have to rush to order. But the pencils are, and, and you must be logged in to see them. You must be a club member to see the pencils. They are extremely limited. This is a, a bundle that Crafters Companion came to me and they said, hey, Stephanie, we have some of these left over and we don't know what to do with them. If we give you a really good price on them, do you want them? And I said, yes, yes, yes. So uh, I got them and they are the Aqua Blend pencils. There are 96 pencil colors that they have made okay there's 96 every single one is in this kit every single color of aqua blend pencils that they have made is in this kit every single one now it's also going to come with a sue bag so the sue bag is included okay and you are going to fall in love now they're spectrum noir we all love spectrum noir right i mean it's like oh i mean spectrum noir is is probably i I honestly would believe to say that they are the leader in color, markers and color, because uh, try blends, try blends, try blends, right? Uh, so when you say colored pencils, whoops, I dropped one. When you say colored pencils, I'm very good with picking up things with my feet, by the way. That's like a talent I kind Skills. of have. What? Skills. It's very skillful. I can do it a lot. In fact, when I'm holding a baby, there's snack drawers at the bottom. I use my foot to open it. And so the babies think that they're supposed to use their feet to open the drawer. But no, it's easier for them I to open it. I thought you were going to say you pick up a baby. With no, I don't pick up a baby. When I'm holding a 30 pound, I don't know how much they weigh now. It but reminds a 25 me of this pound show they showed us when I was in elementary school. This lady would swat flies with her feet. <laughs> it was terrible to show that. Uh, it's... <laughs> Why do you come up with these things? I'm I trying to have a show. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like okay. something you can't forget. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> 96 colors. Now, there's a couple things about these. Number one, they're going to sell out. So if you're interested in these, the regular price on these, if you price these, if you added up the price, it would be $167.75. $167. If you are a gold club member, your price is only $71.99. That's less than half. So that's like, what is that, Kenny? If it, the regular price is $167.75 and they're only paying $72. Um, that's past 50% off. Right. 50% would be like $80. Did you do the pricing right on that? <laughs> I, I did. I did do the pricing right. So it's almost like 60%, 50%, I know, 60 I know, off. I know, Yeah. I know. It's amazing. And you can only find the bundle here. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Eventually, we will carry the pencils separately. I think they're sold in four different sets and they come in a tin instead. You don't get the bag, it comes in a tin, but they will be MSRP, regular price. This is a special bundle Crafters Companion offered us and I jumped on it because, let me show you these pencils. I haven't even shown them to you yet. Okay, Kenny, we're gonna have to do uh, three. Mm -hmm. I think three is gonna be the best. Now, just a heads up, you are gonna want the Forever Black, and I don't have it right here, I can't believe I don't, um, Archival Ink. And I'm looking around for it and I can't find it. The Forever Black, let me write that down. So I'm gonna write down Forever you probably already have it, black. It's archival. I hope I spelled that right. Okay, if you have our old one, never fear, that will work too. So this is our old one. 
um, it was uh, when we were using Colorbox. Colorbox actually um, is no longer, but that was our archival ink when we had them. Now it's the forever, it's called Forever Black and it's with our new ink pad uh, size. So you're gonna use that to stamp your stamps. Don't forget that archival ink pad does stain stamps. It doesn't hurt your stamps, it just stains them. So what does that mean? Well, my stamp will forever be a little black, right? That's it, that's the one I used. So yeah, it's gonna have that line on it, but you know what, who cares, right? Who cares what, no one's gonna judge me on what my stamps look like. Also, I can still stamp in yellow, that's not an issue, okay? Now, I started this just for fun because I wanted you to see what this looks like. And he's gonna switch back to three. You might wanna tell everybody about the website too, we're running a little bit slow just so they oh, okay. get it. Okay. Um, the website is moving a little slow, so just be a little patient. If it's, if it's spinning, that just means you're in line. Just hold tight, hold tight. But if you don't want the pencils, sit back, relax, and don't even order. We will not run out of anything, of the two main dies. We will not run out of those tonight. I bought so many of those, we'll have them forever. Don't tell Ken. But we will not run out of the two dice tonight, okay? So sit back, relax. You can get off the website if you, if you don't want the pencils, okay? So let's start. What you're gonna do, and oh, you also need water pens. Now, chances are you already have some. We have them on our website if you don't have any. They're no, sold in a three pack. This is, I think, the small brush that I'm using tonight. They come in three different brush sizes. This one's probably the medium. And this is, well, it's probably the medium too. So, but I'm just using, oh, here's the largest, I think. So yeah, it comes in three different sizes. They're on our website. You probably already have them. You probably have them somewhere else from another company. That's fine. They're all gonna work, right? So I just have a little bit of water. Oh, I spilled a little. I just have a little bit of water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, and I'm just gonna grab, oh, pink. Of course I'm gonna grab pink, right? And I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll do this guy over here. So here we go. I'm just going to color a little bit. now. Amanda said she's, ne she's never been able to do pencils. This is the big deal about these, ready? You're gonna press hard, okay? Don't go in there and go la 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 la. No, 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 no. You wanna get some color on there, okay? That's what I've really found. You want to get some color on there. So you're gonna get some color on there, just like that. And watch this, I'm gonna come in with my, with my water brush softly i'm not really pushing water i'm not really worrying about that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to gently pull that color and i'll hold this up better so you guys can really see it i'm getting that color and i'm not squeezing my pen i'm not squeezing my pen and look at this you guys hang on i'm just smoothing it out i'm using our regular powdered sugar paper Oh, one more spot. Do you have to be logged in to see these? You do books? have to be logged in to see these. These are club member only. Look at that, you guys. A watercolor effect. Is that the most beautiful? Now, I've already done some on this one right here. You can see I did the blue. Now, the blue is very light, so you can see how it goes there. You can see the pink over there, the blue. Here's the purple. I've done this one, and I did the yellow. I have not done the purple or the blue over here. So let's do the purple and the blue. So I did that pink right there. You can see it. Let me show you that pink again. Look how gorgeous that wing is. Isn't that gorgeous? The shading, easy peasy, right? Okay, so, and you know me, if it's not easy, I'm not doing it. Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna spend just one more time doing this one. So I added a whole bunch of pencil right there on the blue, and I just kind of wiped off my brush down here. I just kind of went da, 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 da. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab that color and I'm gonna go out just like this. And it's literally going to pull that color pigment and it's gonna bring it to the edge of that wing. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Clean my brush a little. I'm gonna grab that purple. I am not squeezing my brush. You do not need that much water. Could you use a, a water, water cup and, and a paintbrush? Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do this one really quick over here. We're just gonna pull that. Look at this, you guys. Easy peasy peasy peasy. The most important trick is to make sure you get a lot of pencil on there, get a lot of color on there, and you are going to be able to do your fun coloring. So there we go on our pink, then I'm gonna finish up really quick on the blue. The blue is like crazy, look at that you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, just for fun, I really quick wanted to do this because I was like, I was really wanting to play. So you're gonna get a lot of pencil on there, see that? And watch this. 
Look at that, you guys. Look at that color just coming straight down. Look how much, and I'm not squeezing my pen at all, my water pen, I am not squeezing that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at how much color you're getting in those. This is a club member exclusive. If you miss out tonight, well, we're not gonna have this again, but you'll be able to buy them at regular price when they come in stock. This is a special bundle, bundle they offered us and I jumped on it because the price for Gold Club members is less than half the price, less than half. Okay, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Now, if I wanted to, I could add more water. I'm squeezing now, I'm finally squeezing and I could bring even more in and I can even do more, right? And I could get more down. So that is the pencils, the aqua blends. You're gonna use your Forever Black Archival Ink Pad. You're gonna need water brushes or a brush and water. And you are going to love, this is my regular powdered sugar cardstock. Remember, Stephanie's cheap, Stephanie's cheap. Regular cardstock. The trick is, don't use a lot of water. Remember, 90% of that time I was not squeezing it at all. I'm literally not squeezing it at all. And to clean your brush, you're just gonna run it over on its side. You can squeeze now to get that color out and you're gonna be good to go to change colors. I got a lot of blue on there because I was doing a lot of blue. But let's see. A couple questions on here. Do you have to use watercolor paper? Special uh, watercolor paper? No, question. regular powdered sugar um, will work. And then do you have to use water with the, these pens? To yes, you will wanna use water to spread that, to spread the pencil um, pigment. Uh, Linda's saying uh, Gold Club members are getting 67% off. Mm -hmm. Now, don't quote me on that, but that sounds about right. I know, you guys. I'm telling you, when they told me what I could get it for and what I could sell it for, I was like, sold, sold, sold. So it's gonna come in the bag, so you literally don't have to worry, it's, it's awesome. So once they're gone, they're gone forever. I'll eventually have the, pen, the pencils separate where you have to buy them separate and it'll be regular price. Well, I mean, you'll get your club discount, but it'll be regular price. It won't be at a discount like this. Okay, boom, done. Now, if you don't want the pencils, you're fine. You're good, you don't have to even be on the website right now. Again, club members only. Okay, let's jump in and look at, let me get my pen, pens over here, and look at our first die set. Now, I know I'm calling this the pull-up fun fold. First of all, Nancy Legate, oh, I hope I'm saying her name right, she's in Illinois, sent me a letter, oh, a long time ago now, huh, Nancy? And she said, you know what, Stephanie, a uh, hundred years ago, I used to be a demonstrator for a popular company. I used to make a fun fold like this. It's similar to the one we had in a class a while back, but it's different. It's very different. Don't think it's the same. It's an A2 size card, first of all. And she said, but I would love for you to do it and make it A2. And she even sent me a sample. Look how cute this sample is that she sent me. There we go. There's our little gnome, isn't he adorable? The nice thing about this version of the die, of my, of my version, um, I took her measurements and I had to change them of course because you know me, I'm always gonna make it my own. But I, I took the general idea and the nice thing about this is it's all one piece. So the gnome is stuck in there. Okay, well, see, he's stuck in there. So that's really handy dandy because then when you close it, you're literally closing it like that. Now. With this extra piece on here, on ours, you need to make sure it stays A2, so you're not gonna let it pop up too much. But when it's put together, it is still A2 in size. So how did I make it my own, right? That's the main, that's the main question. Let me show you the die, and then I'm gonna show you more samples. So this is the die, and we're gonna do three on this one. This is the die, and let me show you what it looks like cut out, because I die cut it for you. This is what it looks like die cut. You have this nice little piece here, all of these score marks. Now, could you do this on your scoring tape, on your scoring board and things like that? Absolutely. Do you want to? Forget it, no way. I could make a hundred, I mean, no, I could make three of these in the time you get cutting, you get scored and, and cut for one, right? It's just dies are so much faster. Of course the die cuts and scores it for you. Now, a couple things, right? Number one, in order to make this A2, this edge, edge to edge, is literally almost, probably is, 11 and a half inches. Eight and a half by, I'm sorry, 11 inches, because paper is eight and a half by 11. You're gonna still use regular paper. You're still gonna use regular cardstock, but it is literally at 11 inches, okay? So it's the same size. When I die cut this, 
I ran it through my machine. I Here, let me get another piece if of paper. If it's in a standard size machine? St uh, with the longer cutting pads, yes. If you have the longer cutting pads, yes, this will work in a six inch machine. When I ran this through my die cut machine, I literally got those die blades and I, put, I butted up to one of them. So those die blades are literally right on the edge. And then I ran it through my machine. Okay. Now mine, look at this, you guys, mine ended up a little crooked. I know you can't really see on camera, but it kind of, it starts big here and it kind of goes in a little bit. You know what? The good news doesn't matter because you're not gonna see that part. We're gonna hide that part. So you're not gonna know, it doesn't matter, okay? So that is the die. Just to give you an idea, this was the leftover of the eight and a half by 11 sheet. I did it right in the middle so you could really see, but look, I had a little hair because I was a little tiny bit off, but that's how much of the sheet it takes. So just to give you a heads up, you're gonna line it right up to that end. If you're a little crooked like me, don't worry about it. No one's gonna see it doesn't matter okay but I mean try to get it close right okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna die cut that let me show you the other samples before we go forward so here are some more samples it does come with a little tiny die and it's hard to see on camera on this one but there's a little die here that says pull and you're gonna pull that and look at that it pops up isn't that adorable isn't that adorable and look it stands it stands. It's so cute. Okay, here's another one. Look how cute this one is. It has a little pull right here. And you're just going to pull it up. And the more layers you get on the, on the pieces, the extra more careful you'll need to be. But it's okay. Look at that. It does come with the little grass die. I wanted a little grass die in here, the right size. It does come with that. So there's our cute little elephants. Even the back is decorated. Who made this one? Michelle made this one. Even the back is decorated. Whoops. So cute. Okay. There's another one, here's another one, ready? I'm gonna pop it open, there's our ice cream cone. Awesome, love it, love it. Oh, that die right there, that squiggly line is included. Also, in oh, of course the layering dies are included. The yellow die here, the white die, the white confetti die, not the confetti, but that, that die is there too. Here's another one. We're gonna open it up. And look at how cute that is. You are officially awesome decorated on both sides look at that so cute okay so those are our cute little samples let's move those you over put one on your shelf to like give us an idea how large it looks in person uh kind well of back it, there by the cupcake maybe it really stands up it's bigger than the yeah. uh previous one we had done right oh it's, it's huge it's a2 yeah. in size great that one was like a little tiny mini 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 one so awesome. this is a2 in size when 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 flat because then it pops up a little bit and that's so next to a fold it right this there. is right next to a fold it yes perfect thank okay. you sure okay so there i can leave it up there too okay so there we go now what else are you getting in the kit let me show you you are also getting these three layer uh, i'm sorry three border dies actually four really because this one's a border die too and the grass whoops grass this way and you're getting these two little dies a little die that says pull so you can put it in there now this is one of those ones where the p stays there right so you can use the negative or the positive i'm using the negative see i, I have the negative in there so i'm going to use the negative you're also getting layering dies so here's the pieces i'm going to use for mine and these are the two this looks like it's not going to cut two i promise you it's going to cut two just saving space so these are the layering dies right these are all the layering dies then this is going to look wrong but trust me it's right <laughs> you are also getting they need to see this okay you're also getting the part that's going to pop up right so this is the part that pops up this is the layering die but you're like stephanie that doesn't make sense because look it's not the right size lengthwise well that's because only part of it's going to be inside the box so you are going to layer this up at the top so it's going to this is going to be in the box and this is gonna be on the outside of the box and out the outside of this box. So we do have a mini version, Terry. We actually did it in one of our classes or something. We had it in one of our classes. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this together so you can really see what I'm talking about. Oh, so here's that pink that I was showing you about the die, how it was a different size. So you're literally gonna glue that on just like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your little pull and you're just gonna attach it like that. And we've added a cute little basket here. 
And for the sake of time, I've already have one die cut. So I've just added cute little pieces here, cute little pieces here. It's already die cut for me. And what I'm gonna do, my friends, my friends, score tape is your friend, okay? This is a more aggressive adhesive. You definitely want to use, and I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you already have score tape, so don't worry about it. But you're definitely going to want to use score tape, or if you have the red, I don't, I don't sell it, but if you have the red line, um, the um, the plasticky one, that'll work as well. I like score tape. You know why? Because you can tear it. <laughs> I'm lazy. Okay, so what we're going to do? Excuse me is we are gonna put this together. I just want you to see kind of a heads up on what this is gonna look like when it's put together. It's eventually going to look, oh, hang on, now it's like all of a sudden hard to do. Put it together just like this. But before we do that, we are going to take this and we're gonna fold this one up. So you're just gonna fold on the score lines, all the score lines. So fold, 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 fold on all the score lines. And this die is gonna go right in the middle, right up to that fold line, okay? So this is the first flap. It's gonna go right to that fold line. Now, whenever you see a flap at the Stamps of Life, that means you are gonna add adhesive to the top. I think it's like 99.9% .9 of the time. So we're gonna add adhesive to the top. We're gonna peel this up. This one went a little over, but I'll fold it over. I'm gonna peel this up. Just gonna fold that over like, like that. This is so easy, you guys, trust me. Okay, so now I have that little flap, right? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna insert it into the little spot right here. Just like that. Well, actually, I should probably go backwards because of that bow. Okay, so now you can see my white is over here, but now my white's not down here because this is gonna get adhered, right? I'm gonna bring this box and I'm gonna go right, oops, don't, don't do it yet, right to that fold line, right there, and press. Press, 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 okay? Again, there's another little flap over here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna add adhesive to the top. Peel that up. And this flap and this flap are going to touch. So I'm going to, let's do it this way, there we go. So now you can see, I'm going to go really slow because I want to make sure it lines up. There we go, and I'm going to press. Now I'm really going to press, press, press. It, the important thing is threading it through before you adhere all of this. Now you guys look, there's my card, right? When I'm, it's flat when I mail it. Now check on the pull thing. It might be a little bit bigger, so you might want to put yours down lower if you need it to fit in an A2 size card because from the pink to the blue is five and a half inches, okay? So if you want it to fit in an A2 size card, you're gonna put your pull lower, okay? Put your pull lower. Ready? And we're going to pull it up and we'll switch to two. And then, whoops. Switch to, oh, come on. There we go. Boom, there it is. Now I added that pull in there because I really wanted to make sure that when people got it, they would understand. Okay, so that's why I added that cute little pull in there. Just, I think it'll just help. So let's see, um, checking to see, uh, Cynthia, um, okay, just trying to make sure. Uh, Miss Overdo It uh, says, just purchased all the new items. Awesome, I'm glad you got the pencils, yay. Deborah says, so very cute, my grandchildren will love it. Yes, absolutely they will. Anne says, very tricky. Yes, it is very tricky, I know. But it's awesome because you know what? It's like, it's more of a surprise, right? It's more of those surprises. Oh, another tip, do not add too many layers to the front of this, okay? So we have a little tiny bit of foam tape on this. I would not recommend doing that because you gotta make sure it's gonna fit through that slot and if it gets hung up on things, because I have foam tape and two layers of cardstock, and my card's catching on that a little bit. So I don't recommend using foam tape when you do it. I recommend keeping it pretty flat as possible. That way you don't have to worry. Oops, and it's gonna fall forward. This has been cut and, and glued so many times. That way you don't have to worry about it sliding in and out of there. So let's see, I don't know if there's any questions. Kathy says, what a fun card. Arlene gave it a big heart. Carol says, cool, you make it look so easy. Carol, let me tell you, my friend, if it's not easy, I'm not doing it, 
okay? And if I'm not doing it, how can I ask you to want to think about doing it, right? So I always make sure it's going to be easy. And that's why the dies literally are going to die cut everything out for you. They're going to score everything for you. And the layering pieces are just going to boom, 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 go on. You're just going to line it up at the bottom, thread it, I mean, thread it through, then line it up at the bottom and you're done. I know, crazy, huh? So Barbara says, this will be very cute on my table, groups for tables, one, two, three in my classroom. Oh, how fun. Oh, how fun. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, she, Erica says, love that it looks so complicated, but simple. I know. Isn't it awesome? I know because, you know, the whole thing, uh, you know, I even wrote a book years ago called Cards That Wow. I want the cards to wow, but I don't want them to be hard or complicated. Um, uh, I had a situation where I saw something that like the instructions were four pages long and I'm like, okay, Ken, what customer is going to read pages that are, <laughs> remember just yesterday, I said, Kenny, who's going to read four pages of instructions? Trash. How many, how many pages of instructions do we send? Zero, Zero, because you don't need instructions. <laughs> I mean, you, watch, watch the, video. the video. We do a video. Yes. But I mean, once you get that, thread it through, then glue it to the bottom, you're done, right? That's it. That's the only part you have to remember. Shirley says, a lot easier than cutting and scoring. I've made these. Yes, I know, right? Isn't that the truth? When that, um, Kathy says, this would be great for name cards and place settings at a table. Oh, fun. Could you attach a gift card or is that too thick? Lisa, you could. You could. I'm a little concerned how heavy a gift card would be and it might kind of topple over eventually. But the important thing is, is the person's, I mean, I would decorate under the gift card too because they could take the gift card off yeah. and then it'll be decorated because they're not going to leave the gift card on yeah, there. They're going to go that spend that gift card. That gift but yeah, gone. it would look really cute. It would look really, really yeah. cute. Kathy says, I love your Diet Coke and Jesus sign. My life. Melody made that for me. Isn't that awesome? I know. I know. I love Cammy it. Cammy wants to know, can you buy it now? Yes, you can buy it now. This is live on our website. We just released it on our website now. It's on a flash sale. Flash sale means the first 24 hours. It always has to be a brand new item. A brand new item, the first 24 hours or until sold out will be at a flash sale price. Meaning you're gonna pay a lower price than regular. And if you're a club member, you're gonna double on those discounts and you're gonna pay even less. So it's awesome. You get to do double discounts and you earn club points. So really you're kind of getting three different discounts kind of in a way, sort of pretty awesome, right? Okay. So we are going to, let's do it. We need to do a chat contest know. before yeah, exactly. we go further, exactly. right? Okay. Yep. So did we even think of, oh, mm -hmm. so a special shout out to Nancy because Nancy did send me the idea of doing it a little different than the original one we had in the class. So Nancy um, is actually getting this die for free. Um, I did change it quite a bit just because, you know, I have to make it my own. But um, thank you, Nancy. Thanks, Nancy. And she was so sweet because she sent me pictures and she sent me everything. And, and so I appreciated that. That was very kind. And I wish she had a date on this because seriously, I have no idea when she sent this to me. But, oh, actually, it might be May of 21 she sent that to me. <laughs> so I think that was the date. So really fun uh we need to do a chat contest uh what are we gonna do for the chat contest kenny oh oh really quick this is gonna fit in the largest envelope the stamps of life has so your kit my kit club members you're gonna put it in this okay i already have my pull up fun fold on my label on both sides now that tiff has taught me i need to do it on both sides i am not gonna put this on a magnet i'm just gonna drop that in the rest i do have on I believe I had two magnets originally. I don't know what happened to the other one, but you could make it fit on one magnet easily. And the extra pieces that I've already cut out, guess what my friends are going in this envelope too. So next time I don't have to die cut if I want to use those same colors, right? If one of our viewers had a nice idea like Nancy's, how could they get that information to you? Um, if there's instructions like that, which I really do appreciate it because it helps me visualize it a little better. She even sent me a sample, which was so kind. Uh, you can send them into our office and um it's our address is is it on the website or address it should be well, info right or you can email phalene at info at the stamps of life.com and she can give you our mailing address to get it for you oh you but just really a heads up to you okay i'm sorry on on yeah. anything that you do send to the office phalene opens everything before i get it <laughs> because i have this fear <laughs> but uh yeah phalene will get it and it will get to me okay uh, we got to do a chant contest, babe. Do we have any? No, ideas? this is your department. 
I barely made it home and got this show running. That is so. true. You actually were a little late. I was getting a little concerned. I started tracking you on my phone. There was traffic Okay, here, everywhere. boom. What? There was traffic everywhere. Was there really? Yikes. Things were shut down. Ooh. Okay, um, so that is going to be our, our, our chat contest for tonight. On your phone, do you have the ability to track your loved ones? Now, I know some people think, ooh, that's like a, a, a invasion of my privacy. We actually do it. Um, I can see where all of my family members are at any given time because what if there was an emergency? I need to know where everyone is, right? Or what if, so in the chat contest, you're going to answer yes or no, um, whether or not uh, Dawn, Tiffany did make a bag for the big say. envelopes. It is the eight and a half by 11 paper taker. They fit in there perfect. So do you track family members, yes or no? And if you have a reason that you don't or do, feel free to jump that into. <laughs> but also... I don't trust them. <laughs> you don't trust them. No, I also, another reason why I have it is I always, before I text anyone, I check to see if they're on the freeway or driving. Because if they're driving, I do not text them. Because the last thing I want to hear is one of my loved ones thinks my text is important. Obviously, it's not important. Uh, not as important as somebody's <sighs> life. So I never text or call anyone when they're driving. So I always check to make sure they're not driving and then I text them. I thought you were gonna say you send them a gif to try to get their attention. No, I do not. <laughs> no, I do not. I see a lot of no's. I see a no, lot no, of no's. No. I see a lot of no's. <laughs> Somebody says I like to hide. I get it, I get it. Um, I, but I can see where my parents are. I can see where Kenny is. I can see where Kirsten is. Katie currently has hers turned off because she's naughty, but um, I, I like to. You should turn off her phone. I know I should turn off her phone because I think I think I pay for, we pay for her phone, don't we? Yep. Hmm. How many winners are we? We're gonna do three for ten dollars each. Nice. So um, Patricia says no, but I I have it, but I don't I don't use it. I also like to know like when Ken's on his way home because Ken is not very good about saying on my way home. So I just check my phone. Oh, he's on his way home. Oh, look, he's almost home. And boom, there we go. So, um, and then sometimes it shows like I'm in Hawaii or something. Yeah, sometimes he gets in trouble. One time it showed that he was in the middle of a lake. I'm like, well, I don't think that one's true. <laughs> I drove off the edge of the road. But nah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Stephanie didn't worry about that one. Oh yeah, I didn't worry about that one. I'm sure he's so, not there. <laughs> and you know what was fun is when um, when I traveled to China. I could see myself on the map and I would take screenshots of it so I would remember where I was during different times, which was really fun because when you see the map of China, it's really fun to see your little face on there as where you are in China, which was really fun. So and then I'd zoom in and zoom out. So yeah, so a lot of no's, mostly no's, mostly mm -hmm. no's. Yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those things What you, you either like it or you don't. Totally, totally no wrong, no wrong answer for it. Um, so Kenny, you're going to pick three and we're going to do $10, $10 winners for each. Okay. And I'm going to grab the next card. Are you close to grabbing, getting some already? No, or? the answers are still rolling in. Oh, they're in. still rolling in. Mm -hmm. Rolling I'll give in. Give everybody a chance to win, right? Rolling. Right. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe somebody's just tuning in right now. Right oh, now. What is everybody? I'm just yeah. going to say yes or no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So answer the chat question. There's no fee to try. Just go ahead and jump in. Oh, really quick while we're doing that. We also released on our website some brushed silver and brushed gold foil. As you know, we're having ex everyone, not just us, everyone is having extreme problems getting paper. And we were able to uh, get some brushed silver. So it's not like mirror, like our regular foil. This is brushed, meaning it's a little, it, it literally looks like somebody kind of brushed over it. You want to do three? Yeah. Brushed over it. And so here are the two colors. This is the gold and this is the silver. I don't know if I have any of the original. Oh, here's the original gold that we used to have. So you can see the different. Oh, look, there's a perfect example of the difference. Okay, so this is our original gold foil. This is the brushed gold. It's more of a metallic. It's not as shiny, but it is gorgeous. I'm trying to see if I have a silver. Oh, I do have a silver. I do not have a silver. I have this version. Uh, I do not have a silver because I used them all. So now I only have this silver. But, so if you're interested in those, they're on the website, you can get them. Um, we're gonna try to keep those in stock at all times so there's no rush on that one. But we just wanted to make sure we had it on the website. So that was the difference on the gold and the silver. 
um, because I'm sure some people would have a question about that. Okay, so, oh, and how many pieces? I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six silver, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six gold. So 12 sheets total. Okay. And we're gonna move on. Are you gonna pick some winners yep. or do you want me to You move ready jump? for our winners? Yes, I'm ready for the winners. All these people are no's or nopes. Okay, I get it. No, I totally get it. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Um, from YouTube, Sheila Back. Nope. Nope. Sheila Back. Next from Facebook, also a no, Pam Suarez. Pam Suarez. And then the last one is from YouTube. She said, nope, and nobody tracks me. <laughs> Heidi, I don't know how to say her last name, but it's C-R-S-I. Okay, Heidi and all of you other two ladies, you just won a $10 gift certificate to our website. You are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com and Faylene will get that out to you in a day or two and you can spend that on our website. Congratulations. Okay, moving on. This one is called Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Now, on our website, it's called Gatefold Peekaboo because technically this is two cards in one. Technically. Technically, this is two cards in one, okay? First of all, it's a gatefold card, right? So it has the inverted edges, which is really fun. The corners, can you do two on this mm -hmm. so you can see? Here, maybe this one will be better to see the corners. So you can see the corners on the edges, see the cute little corners. And when you open it up, you're gonna see a hidden message. Love you. So there's one, let's look at this one. The design team, um, I haven't even opened these yet because the design team taped them all closed. Oh, oh, am I gonna have to, hang on. There we go. They put cute little things around them. So here's another one, let's, wait, let's keep on two. Okay, so here we go, ready? The flower does come with it. Hi, happy birthday wishes. Isn't that cute? Absolutely love it, fun. Oh, and then it closes, see? Open, close, open, That's close. That's fancy. Oh, see, see, Kenny, are you it's excited? Like a camera. You haven't, I know, it's like the a aperture. shutter. Well, they also call it a shutter card, Ooh, but yeah. I don't, but cameras, we don't have cameras anymore, really. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm calling it a peekaboo because the high wasn't there a second ago and now it is. Mm. Now it is, right? So it's like I guess show that to the boys. They'll I know be they'll be like, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's another one. And now these you can just make. This is just literally a piece of cardstock or pan. Actually, this one's pattern paper. Just cut and then rolled around. And ready? We're gonna open it. Sweet winter wishes with our little snowman. Cute, cute, cute. Let's look at this one. Now, the purple on here, you can kind of see, Cheryl, I don't, I don't even have to look to see who made this one. Cheryl made this one. She added glitter dots with our 3D inks on this, but there is a 3D dye in there that just is gonna deboss it. So it's gonna like kick it in. But there we go, open that one. Hi, close it. Now, there's a, I think I, oh, that's it. Okay, well, the funny thing is, you guys, yesterday I got a card in the mail for my birthday, and uh, this is from Amanda, and the funniest thing is, she's a Gold Club member, she might even be watching, I hope you're watching Amanda, because she's probably screaming right now, because I literally got this card in the mail yesterday, and I started laughing, because she says, Stephanie, happy birthday, God bless you in the coming year, just as you bless so many people, so sweet to say, Amanda, and she says, P.S., can you make dice for this fun interactive card, pretty please, and she added a happy face, and look, you guys, are you ready? Ta-da, same idea, isn't that awesome? Ta-da! Now this is a bigger card. This is actually, I think, closer to five by seven. I did mine at a two size, but look at that, you guys. Now, what if you wanted to make it five by seven? Are you ready? I should have grabbed this earlier. I should have grabbed this earlier, but use your five by seven card die gatefold and you can make it. Okay, you'll have to do a little finagling because you will need to make this front piece. You'll just hand cut that. But look at this. You could probably use like a slimline rectangle or something like that. You could make it five by seven. And you could use the regular gate also. But this Wait, one cuts more. all the... 
But wait, there's more. I know. So it's a gatefold card and a peekaboo card. So if you didn't want to do the fancy wancy gate uh, peekaboo, you could just make it a gatefold card, right? It has those fun little inverted little corners, which are so fun. Now we're going to put it together. I need to start by saying, I'm sure there are other ways to put this together. I'm sure there are other ways to put this together. This is the way I have found is the easiest and it's the easiest to explain. So just that being said, because some of you might be saying, I've made one of those, I've cut it myself and I did it different. Sure, of course, right? There's no wrong way to craft. But this is the way I have found is the easiest and the easiest to explain. So what I've done, let me move some of these over so we have room. Let me, oh, let me show you the dies because there's a lot. Oh, all the way, also, this is gonna fit in our medium envelopes or also the six by nine envelopes by uh, pockets by Tiffany, okay? Look, I got my little peekaboo on there. Got my little peekaboo on there right there. Okay, so let's do three. So here we have the die itself. This will fit in a standard machine, six inch machine, as long as you have the longer cutting pads. This is my basic gatefold. It also comes with layering dies because you know me, I'm always gonna have layering dies, right? That's like my claim to fame. Um, also, you are going to have, and oh, there it is, a layering die for the back and these pieces here and then you're going to have this, oh, and then, okay, let me show you these. There's these pieces that literally just kind of deboss it. They just punch in. They're not going to cut. They're just kind of like an embossing thing just for fun, something different. You're also getting a fun little stem with a cute little flower and some leaves if you wanted to add that. That's just a little extra. You're getting the secret weapon over here. Just a heads up on this, you guys. Just a heads up. When you turn this over on the back, it is gonna say, and I hope we, we, I don't know if we can zoom in on it. Uh, sometimes the camera can't, oh, there it is, see it? Cut two. To make this card, you are gonna cut two of this one. So on the back, it says cut two. Tricky, tricky, huh? Okay, so then you are also, oh, and then a layering die for that. The first time you make this card though, my friends, I do not want you to use the second layering die, okay? I want you to do it first one time by yourself without that extra layering die to make it easier on yourself and then you can go to the more advanced, okay? We're also getting the inside piece that's gonna go, here, let me move these so we can kind of figure this out here. You're also getting, all these dies come in the kit. You're also getting this die here that's gonna go on top there. And you can see on this one, those dots, ready? It look, makes it look like embossed paper, see it? See those dots? You're getting that die as well, and it's right here, okay? So you're getting those fun little dies. Now, if you want to do this and you don't want those dies, you can easily do it. Find a circle die that's roughly this size, and you can put it on the center there, and you can die cut it. Um, that's up to you. So what we're gonna do is, we're, oh, and you also get a love you with some circles and the high with some circles, which I don't see where some of mine are. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put this together. Get my pieces here. So first I have my layering, my gate, oh my gosh, it's so hot in here, I'm dying. It was like 80 degrees today, you guys, you can see. Woo. Okay, so here I have my die. I'm going to fold on the score lines the die has already created. Boom, right there. How about you use the opening, do you think, where uh, the shutter opens? Uh, Do you have any idea? Uh, that, uh, let's find out. It is two inches. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab, and I've already die cut a whole bunch of the layering dies just to try to be a little proactive here. And I'm also, I also die cut some to go on the inside. So let's go ahead and add some adhesive to these. I just really, really, really need you to see how easy peasy, this is from the Take It Easy pad, how easy peasy, I always run out on camera, isn't that funny? Um, this is how easy peasy these are to put together. So I just die cut these, right? And now I'm gonna add the layering dies. There's one there. Boom, turn this over, there's one here. Boom, done. Then on the inside, I'm gonna do those two also. So we're gonna add, usually I'd probably add better adhesive on this, but for the sake of time. And so we're gonna add this one here. Oh, there it is. We're gonna add this one right here. Our, our viewers are saying uh, we should add a, like a kid's picture or something in that. Oh little, my goodness, that would like be the adorable. Grandma and grandpa. Yeah, like I could send my picture and yeah. say, hi, Liam and Miller from Nana. And they can look at my picture. 
I love it. Okay, so you're gonna die cut two of these, remember, because it says cut two. And so I've already done that. Now it has a little tab, right? You're gonna fold that down. Now, remember, anytime Stephanie has a tab, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna put adhesive on the top, right? So let's go ahead and get our, I don't know if this one will fit. This is the half inch. It's a little close. Let's do, oh, where's my other? Ma! Where's my quarter inch? Oh, this is quarter inch. Why, why does that look like, okay, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna grab this one. I'm gonna add adhesive to the top, right? Adhesive to the top. Now, remember I said, don't add, see here, here on this one, we added the layering dies on the red. Don't do that one the first time you make it. I want you to really understand how to make it before you try to get fancy wancy, okay? If you're new to this kind of die, or I mean, this kind of pattern uh, or card, because it's just a little bit more uh, complicated with that. It, 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 I, you just really need to make sure you add a lot of adhesive because sometimes they catch on each other. So I'm gonna add it like this and I'm gonna peel these off, right? Okay, so now those are ready to go. And what I'm going to do, I actually should decorate the back first, hang on. So here I have my cute little pink. I'm just gonna add some adhesive to that really quick. All, every single die I'm using is in this kit, you guys. Every single die. Okay, so I have that. I also used our brushed silver to do my cute little high in the background. And I'm going to, oh, I need to die cut the center part. I didn't actually die cut that part. Um, let's go ahead and grab this one. So you're gonna run these through at the same time. Okay, these two right here, you're gonna run through. Now, if you do not want the debossing on here, remember, you're just gonna get a circle die and die cut. In fact, I think the two inch, I, I think this circle, hang on, might be the same size. Whoa! Okay, it is, so we'll do that. So what you're gonna do, if you don't want those dots, and I'll do it now so you can really see. We're gonna lay this here. We're gonna lay this here so I can kinda get an idea of where it should go. I'm gonna lay that right there, and whoops, let's flip it over. So blade down, do blade down so you can tape it. Blade down, right there, right? So that's pretty much in the middle. Get it in the middle as much as you can. And we're gonna use our handy dandy washi. Make sure that gets on there, there we go. And this, so this die is in the kit. Don't worry, it's all in the kit. Everything is in the kit, okay? Pop this up. Now, you know me, I love my baby powder. I'm gonna get some baby powder out and I'm gonna add that. Why? So the washi is not sticky where I don't want it to be, right? Okay. Okay, so now look, the washi's not sticky on the outsides. Okay, so now I have, I made my own die. Look at that, see that circle on there? I'm gonna grab some cardstock. Didn't plan ahead on this one. So let's grab some... Guava. White. Oh. No, I already have guava on the oh, shutter, sorry. so yeah. Good, good. It would have been, normally that would be an excellent choice, babe. Normally, but since not, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> okay. Good try though. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to die cut this, running it through the machine. See that? This is, I'm only have to do this because I didn't want those dots and I wanted you to see what, how to do it. Okay. If you don't, if you like those dots, great. Okay. So now I have my little piece. So there we go. See? Ta-da! Oh, Oops, sorry. sorry. Ta-da! Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to adhere, whoops. We're, oh, look at this mess I'm making. Okay, so we're going to adhere our cute little high, and I'm just going to, oh, you know what? Let's get the white behind it so we can, wait, I don't know, white on silver, let's see. Eh, no, let's just do. So I already die cut this using our new brushed silver because I really wanted to see it, but look how fun this high is. So first, we're gonna lay this down, we're gonna measure. We're gonna lay this down. This goes over my mat, right? So we're gonna center this the best we possibly can. And we are going to lay this. Now this is like the exact same size because it's the same die, so be very careful. Press, press, press. Will our two inch word dies work in this? Oh, I have not tested that, so I will not answer that. No Sorry. Sorry, I just have not tested it, so. Uh, it sounds in theory like they will, but chances are mm -hmm. they're just not going to because. But you could always, you could put anything behind this. It could be a picture, it could be just a word. Like, for example, 
Um, a lot of them did hi, hi, and I'm doing hi, love you. Um, this one is just a stamped image, right? So you could just have a stamped image on there if you wanted to. So that's up to you. You don't have to do and see every once in a while they get stuck on each other. That's why I'm having you not do a layer the first time, okay? Okay, so there we have our cute little hi. There I'm gonna add my door. We're calling this a door, okay? Now, the door, you are going to add some adhesive foam to pop it up. This will make it just a little bit easier. And actually, I don't need this much adhesive foam. I kind of made those too long. Okay, so on the back, really quick, I'm going to adhere this. Now, remember back in the day when you'd actually try to cut one of these out by hand? Oh, yuck. Okay. Wow, that I know. Was the old, now, oh, days. and remember, yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, remember, don't forget, this could just be a gatefold card, right? Dun da da da, gatefold card. Oh, but wait, my friends, there's more, right? So now I've added adhesive tape to both of these. I'm gonna peel, go ahead and peel it off. Now here is the trick, ready? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cute little banners. The first time you do this, you're not gonna do the layers, okay? I just want you to start slow. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your little legs up on this. So you're gonna hold these up, right, like that, right? So it's like this, it looks like a staple. Kind of like the box card, remember the box card? We have our little staple here, kind of. And we are going to push it down into that corner so it's standing up, it's literally standing on my card right now. And before I press, I'm gonna make sure it's pretty centered, looks good, and now I'm gonna press. Okay, there we go. So that's one, okay, that's it. And you're just gonna do it right where it, clo right where it, right where it closes. So here's, here's, a, here's one that's already done. Wait, there. So you can kind of see, there's the little tab, and then it kind of goes down, right? It's gonna go down. So now we're gonna get our other one, and we're gonna line this one up. Again, we're gonna have it rest on the card bottom, and we're gonna line this up. Now make sure you're not like, you don't wanna be over here, because look, then it's not gonna line up right, right? You want it to line up with the other one. Make sure it's down, push down here, make sure it's down, and look, it's lining up, and then you're gonna press. Now, you can really press now. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. There's a couple different ways to do this. Do not do your layering dies the first time. When you do do the layering dies, I want you to glue those suckers down. <laughs> Sorry for the bad language. You're gonna glue those suckers down so well, they're not gonna get caught on each other, okay? But I like to do one banner behind the other banner. Some people like to do one arm in front, one arm in the back, so it goes like this. However, I have found it's easier to open and close if, there, if one is on the bottom and then one is on the top, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I have all of that. I'm going to grab this. Notice I'm just holding this right here. Remember, I already took all the adhesive off this. This was ready to go. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna layer it at the bottom, right? Right there at the bottom, see at the bottom, very, very bottom, the white and the yellow are layered, okay? There we go, press, press, and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna press right there and wah, wah, wah. Now, it will not catch as often if you, so sometimes they catch, what do I mean by that? So, oh, that one's, that one's good. Um, every once in a while, one of them, like right now, see this one's kind of catching on this, the little pointy pieces are kind of catching on each other. So then you kind of got to like jam it like that. So this one is one on top of the other and one up and one down. I have found when they are one on bottom, one on top. So now this one is catching a little tiny bit because it has the two layers. And that's why I like to only do one layer. It looks good with two, but you have to make sure those corners are very, very glued. You also want to make sure your when you put this tab down, it is touching the bottom of the card, right? It is literally resting on this. And then you will have, ta-da, 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 ta-da. So the first time you do it, no layering pieces, okay? And you will have way more success doing it. And then after you do that, you can do those layering pieces. I just want you to make sure when you die cut them, you add a lot of adhesive in these corners 
because that's where they're gonna catch. So you wanna make sure they're really, really, it's really glued down in these sections. Whew, easy peasy. So how do you do it on a five by seven? Great question. You are going to die cut it. You're gonna have your five by seven gatefold card. Make your five by seven gatefold card, same way as you normally do. You're gonna use the banner pieces, same way. Everything is exactly the same. The only thing you need to recreate is this white piece. So the white piece here that's in the center, you're gonna need to make on your own. Now the easiest way to make that on your own would be to grab some, let's see. I would grab here, this is, this might, uh, that one's not gonna work. I would grab a die that is a rectangle. Oh gosh, now I'm pulling out all the wrong ones here. Let's see, uh, rectangle square. Mini slimline. I don't know if mini slimline will work. Let's see. I think that's what I grabbed already. Okay, so the mini slimline five by seven. Where's that other card that I had here? I think this one's five by seven. Let me check. Uh, five by seven. Good job. Okay, so what you're going to do to make this front piece, right? This front piece is you are going to use perhaps. That one's a little small. I honestly, honestly, I can't think of a die to grab right this second. I would literally just hand cut a rectangle that is seven inches high and probably, what's this one? I would guess three inches, three, three and a half inches. So seven inches high by three and a half inches, give or take, give or take. And you're just going to, you can even use the same circle die. You can use the circle die that comes in the kit. The only piece you need to recreate is this front piece, the tummy or the door, okay, the door. And then the rest, boom, you got it. So same thing. Uh, Denise says, I've made this card from scratch. This die will make it so much easier. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. I know. So now instead of cutting and scoring, cutting and scoring, I mean, imagine even just I mean, like I'm crazy, but imagine trying to just die cut this piece, right? I mean, not die cut, cut it out by hand because you got all the, and then you got this little scoring, you got to measure that, and then you got to cut these points out, blah, 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 blah. So crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, somebody asked what paper pad this one. This was the take it easy paper pad. This was the take it easy paper pad on this one. Um, I don't know which one I used on the other one. Um, but this one was the take it easy paper pad. I'm loving this card. Thank you. Thank you. Donna says, hi, Ken and Stephanie from Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Love your products and miss seeing you in Lancaster. Oh, Lancaster, thank you. Great card die. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Uh, love the peekaboo card. Didn't think I wanted it, but now I need it. You know what? It's really fun. And like Kenny said, you could put a picture behind that. Somebody else actually had the idea. Mm -hmm. But you could put a picture behind there. You could put a secret message behind there. You don't think, don't think for a second you have to use my hi and hello, love you. I mean, hi and love you dies. Do, do a, a stamped message. Absolutely, right? Put a picture of cookie in there. Put a picture of cookie in there. Don't, no. But, <laughs> I mean, you get to pick what you're going to put on the inside. It doesn't have to be one of those dies. Um, I mean, a stamped image would be perfect. A stamped, just a stamped sentiment would be perfect, right? Awesome, huh? I know. I'm very excited. Um, Kathleen Brown says, I got my order placed. I ordered it all. Thank you, my love. Both cards are great. JH3 Sun said, thank you. Teresa said, it's beautiful. Love it. Thank you. Uh, Maureen says you could put the gift card on the stand part. That way it will weigh it down a bit so it doesn't topple. Oh, on this one. Sure. You could absolutely put it on, put it down here if you wanted to. That would be, that would be cute. Um, let's see. Uh, Anne, oh, Ann says, I wish it would be on the Black Friday special. Oh, Ann, we have new things on the Black Friday special. We have some amazing things coming for Black Friday. I, I hold things for Black Friday because they're going to be really, really fun. She wants to know if she can use one of her gift cards. Absolutely. Or, pencils or Ab the dies, right? It'll Absolutely. Work for any of those. Yes. Oh, yeah. You can use your gift cards like your anniversary gift certificates or your club points. These are the times, you guys, I always say you, when, when there's bigger items, please make sure you're using your club points, your club anniversary gift certificates. Absolutely use those because, hey, why not, right? Absolutely. Uh, Latanya says, both die sets are must-haves. Thank you, my love. Janet says, I ordered it all. Love the card dice. I know, you guys, you, when you send cards like this to people on your list, they're gonna go, how do you do that? They're gonna freak 
out. I mean, imagine somebody that doesn't craft getting a card that does this. They're gonna go, this must have taken you three hours. And you're go, gonna say, well, you know what? You're worth it. No. <laughs> I always like to say that. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun. And uh, I've gotten Katie really into more, Katie's been doing a lot of fun stuff. She's been doing some stuff for me behind the scenes, die cutting and doing this other stuff for me. And she's like, wow, this is really relaxing. I can totally get why people do this. And I'm like, I know, it's, it's relaxing, it's fun, it's, it's just, it's a hoot, right? I'm telling you. Um, Linda says, bought my own anniversary gift tonight. 53 years tomorrow. And hubby is recovering from a stroke 21 months ago. Oh my goodness. But congratulations on 53 years, Linda. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, let's see. Lupe says, will there still be on flash sale with tomorrow's releases? Um, is tomorrow a release day? No. To well, tomorrow night. Um, if there's any left. If there's any left, they will be, uh, it might overlap a little tiny bit. I don't know if it really, really will though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Bobby says, I can't wait to get these dies. Yay! Trina says, yes, yeah, seeing you make this makes me want it. And Trina, you're absolutely right. That is the reason on the bigger things like this, I like to do these online demos because if you just saw this on the website, you'd be like, oh, huh? That looks, that looks difficult. I don't think I could do that. But when you see me make it, it kind of like makes it click, right? It makes you go, oh, I get it. I get it, right? Right, I know, that's how I feel. So my friend, Kenny said he's gonna take me to dinner tonight. So we're gonna head out. Thank you so much, thank you. Now, if the website's going a little slow, just give it some time. If you see it spinning or it's just taking a long time to load, that just means you're in line. So don't hit buy now, buy now, buy now, buy now, because it'll, every time you do that, you're charging your credit card. So just hit it once and let it just take its time. It's like you're on in line at Target on Black Friday weekend kind of thing. So just let it go. If it says pending when you're done checking out, pending, remember we don't want to be stuck in a penitentiary or a playpen, that's when you're going to contact Faylene at info at thestampsoflife.com and she'll fix you up. If it says processing, two thumbs up, you're good to go, okay? If it says processing, two thumbs up, you're fine. You're good to go. So, my friends, Kenny, do you have anything else to add? There was a question of how do you add your gift codes in, and that's when you check out, right? That's that how during checkout, out? So absolutely. If yeah. you add stuff to your basket, there's gonna be a little, is it a coupon code or something? No, it's right not there? a, it's a, it's um, a gift code, it says gift code. Okay. I'm, that somebody yeah. asked on yeah here, so, so you'll enter it out. you'll enter it during checkout make sure you copy and paste it don't try to type it in because you need to make sure it's exactly how we send it to you so you're going to make sure you copy and paste it and you'll put it in during checkout so my friends thank you so much thank you for your love your support and your prayers they mean the world to us it's because of all of you kenny and i get to do what we love and we really do love doing this so thank you all so much again just be a little patient on the website if it's going a little slow um we tried to spread it out a little bit longer tonight again on the pencils if you don't want the pencils you can go eat dinner and come back because everything should be back and should still be in stock the dyes especially because i bought a lot so thank you all so much Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and we will see you Thursday night, same place, yeah, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, for a Stephanie's Crafting Corner. Okay, Thursday. take care. Bye-bye.